Hi guys, it's Kevin again. All right, we are in Garnet now, or Garnet, perhaps. Everybody seems to have a variation of how to say everything, depending upon where you live. Anyway, um, I uh, mentioned to you the last place. Um, uh, God, I forgot the name. Colma um, was uh, like a ghost city, um, since there were so many buildings. Um, well, in keeping with that trend, I suppose this uh, Garnet is going to need to be a ghost metropolis or something or other because um, there's got to be 30 or 40 buildings around here that are in extremely good condition. Um, I'm going to just uh, show you around down. This is only about half the town right here. These buildings are in outstanding condition. Um, they uh, uh, had a caretaker that lived here and uh, kind of kept vandalism down um, just by um, sake that they were uh, living here so uh, that was up until the 60s and then in the 70s they started kind of restoring um, some of the buildings that were crumbling and um, really uh, doing a pretty good job of uh, keeping track of stuff the BLM took it over and um, now charges a, a tiny entrance fee to help with the upkeep and there's also a on staff um, uh, caretaker as well. Um, looks like some folks that are wintering from some other city are up here taking care of the place. But um, this is absolutely stellar. I'm um, absolutely in ghost town heaven uh, checking all these places out. Um, these buildings were, you know, meant more as kind of temporary shelter while the mining uh, took place and not necessarily meant to withstand, you know, 120 plus years of, uh, of weather and snow and, uh, well, brutal winters. Um, they get, you know, multiple feet of snow up here. Um, this is, uh, we're in far west Montana at the, in the Garnet Mountain Range, which um, is, and I think we're about, I don't know, 4,000, 5,000 foot elevation or something like that, so... Anyway, I'm going to drop off and just show you one last uh, building here. Um, this one, um, now this one doesn't have a whole long history, but it just says that it was one of the miners' homes. Um, pretty simple living, you know, anything they could do to, to just, um, you know, exist for another day to hit their ore, um, hit, their, uh, hit, the, <laughs> hit the mine rich, I guess. Um, digging through, you know, tons and tons and tons of ore. I read somewhere that uh, nine tenths of the um, of the uh, the stuff that they dig up um, was just waste. The rest of it ended up going down to uh, uh, down the ore carts, down to the stamping mills and such. And then, um, you know, a very very small percentage of that then became, you know, usable as gold or some kind of minerals, you know, copper, silver, whatever. So. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll check back with you again, um, but uh, definitely get to Garnett. Um, this place is outstanding if you love, uh, if you love ghost towns and, um, you know, just being out in the middle of the woods away from people. It's, it's pretty damned awesome. So anyway, I'll check back with you later. Thanks for stopping in.